My name is George Moore, owner of Moore's Sewing Center, and I'm here with my good friend Trevor Conkergood. Hey, George. And we're starting the Save Your Embroidery Tour, which this is our virtual presentation, obviously. And we've had Trevor and I've had a lot of fun just reminiscing. <laughs> we sure have. Um, you, just, you just mentioned. I don't know if this feels I feel good about this, but we have over a hundred years of embroidery experience. Now, between the two of us, uh, I hate to tell you, I don't know who has more. And I don't know if, if I want to admit it because that says the age. But uh, we have a lot of a lot of fun talking about the different machines we work with. But I, before I get, I stop. I, I, I told you to remind me about giving away a prize. Don't forget to give away a prize, George. Okay, we got, we thank you. Brought something to give away. All right. So I think it's my favorite thing. The by the way, now can you have too much thread out there? No. I I think the thread stash is a favorite stash. So what we're gonna do is like share or comment and after this week's of events because this is a tour we're kicking this off with a, a virtual event but this is a tour but uh you can keep up coming back and there's gonna be a lot of good information to come back and, and watch i know I've, this guy is a wealth of information oh, he, he is he is an embroidery expert and um but anyway like share comment and by the way this has a value of about i would say this is 30 spools about 100 over 180 dollars it's went up in price so if you, and, and if you want to say that you have too much thread, then you say I have too much thread. But I know no one's going to say that. Nobody's going to say it's, that. Right? It's kind of like, so if, if you say that, then that means you have too much fabric, and no one's going to say that. It's my favorite thing is to choose the colors. Okay. And so the Floriani embroidery thread, you're going to love it. Yeah. So, in fact, I've seen your studio, and you've got a <laughs> yes, wall. Yes, I do. It's a it's, dream studio. It's all embroidery. thread on the wall. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my favorite thing is choosing the colors, right? You know, what kind of colors roses are going to make? Shades of red, shades of yellow. Yeah. Um, so that's a very nice gift. And all you have to do to win it is a share, like, share or, like, or comment. Comment. Or all okay, the above. So just comment. And, no. and you know what? And the share is the most important one because you want to share with someone about embroidery because that's what we're talking about. Okay. Embroidery. And I, you know, if I, I taught at a lot of different uh, seminars from last this, this last summer, and I would have a question, I would say, uh, who here owns an embroidery machine? And so so many people are raising their hands, two, three. That wasn't the case 20, 30 years ago, was it? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, 20, 30 years ago, I don't think home, you know, was, embroidery was really a hobby. It was more of an industrial thing, right? We, we did jackets and hats, but not as many kind of home decor or, you know, heirloom type things. And, and yeah. that's, that's where I, I love what you bring here because your family started in the industrial embroidery right, yeah. business. Um, it was in the... 80s 1980s yeah my dad bought his first machine in 1979 and so i was kind of like you grew up in a family that had a sewing business um an industrial embroidery business but i learned from my mom my dad and um so i love to create embroidery and i love to talk about it and george loves to do embroidery and he loves to talk about it so we're like a little yeah. sort of a, a perfect pairing of two fun guys it, it's it's wonderful because we share a lot of the same background, uh, different. My, uh, my family, we came more from the household industry. You came more from the industrial digitizing, True. which is going to really be helpful tonight because uh, back to the Save Your Embroidery Tour. Right. We're going to discuss how you can perfect your embroidery because a lot of you, you and it's a joke I say when I do seminars, how many of you who have an embroidery machine bought it to embroider and they go, uh, duh, yeah, I bought it to embroider, right? Absolutely. But the problem Why do you is, think I bought it, George? Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> The problem is they don't have an understanding about why does it not always look good. Now, we have a sample right. we're going to show, and, and where you know you think everything's right and it looks good on one fabric, but the same design doesn't look good on the other fabric. No, it's totally and, true. And so you were telling me some things about really you, you need to wear two different hats, or two, you need to. Right. Okay. So why don't, why don't uh, okay. you describe that? The story is uh, it takes two people to get a successful embroidery result. And in your world, that might be two people, or it could be one person who wears two hats. But the point is, um, I like to separate the process of embroidery into the embroiderer and the embroidery designer. And, you know, the embroidery design, a lot of times people will say, uh, hey, Trevor, how do you embroider on a t-shirt? And then I'll say, well, I don't know. What are you putting on it? Because I think you really, you have to consider two things what are you sewing on? And then what are you gonna sew on it? And the embroidery design can be, uh, can make the project, but it can also break the yeah. project. You know, if, right. if it's not digitized kind of 
properly, then you know it doesn't seem to matter how many layers of stabilizer you use, you still didn't get the right results. Exactly. Um, but yet the opposite could happen. You could take a design that was made by a brand new kind of novice and they don't understand kind of how to get the design right, you know? So it's not just, oh, this design was made by an expert. It should embroider perfectly because you still have to have your recipe. Yeah. And the recipe means what are you, how do you hoop it? Or did you hoop it? Well, you let's, know, or, let's bring it up. You know? I, I was, I, I was doing, I do a lot of samples for my presentations. And I was wondering, why was I getting so much puckering? It was just cotton fabric, uh, and it was a, a pretty dense design. And I was hooping the entire area with what, one of my favorite stabilizers. But I was getting puckering. And I went and I used a tool that's in, we're going to talk about the Floriani FTCU. And it talked about not hooping the stabilizer, only fusing around the right. design. So in this case, cotton, it was held tighter. And it was yeah. so much better. And that was just, I mean, all the years I've done this, that little bit of information, the results was tremendous, but that was only one type of design in one with one fabric. How is a person who's just starting with embroidery scene, how are they gonna learn these things? And, and that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. Yeah, I think it, people feel a little bit kind of like, oh, there's a lot to learn. And, and there is, you can, you'll probably never stop learning. You know, that's why we join our hobbies is because we love them and we love, learning is part of the journey, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the fun part. Um, that said, um, what you're talking about is a software tool that we can use to kind of like get the recipe um, and get a little help with the design. Because yeah. um, I'll tell you exactly what the problem is, George. When I make a design and I make designs that I share and sell uh, to other people. And so I don't always know what you're going to sew that design on. Mm -hmm. um, I can use, you know, like a generic settings or default settings. But if I knew that you were sewing it on a baby onesie, or if I knew that you were putting it on fleece, I might have done things a little bit differently. Yes. And so that's when you refer to save to sew, you're talking about one of our most favorite tools. I, I haven't right? talked about it yet. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about it's save to sew. It's a cool tool. Or, <laughs> yeah, you know, that. Yeah. Anyway, um, but the concept is you have to consider what are you sewing on and what are you sewing on it. And then the sort of answer to those two questions helps you build your recipe. Mm -hmm. And so if you say to me, how do you sew on a t-shirt, Trevor? And I say, I don't know, what are you sewing on it? What I really want to know is kind of how dense is it? How much coverage, how big is it? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I might ask you funny questions like what color t-shirt is it? Cause that could matter, right? What like if it was a show through? Yeah. yeah, like if it was a really thin t-shirt, then the stabilizer, if you use your kind of typical sort of white solid kind of opaque stabilizer, it might show okay. through. Okay. And so there, so we, um, we call them recipes, right? Okay. When, you know, and every project can have its recipe. And one of the things I love the most about people that do embroidery is that, um, we all share what we learn with our friends, Absolutely. right? So if you've got a good recipe, yep. you should write it down and well, share it with your friends. First of all, if you embroider, if you quilt, if you sew, I'm not met a selfish sewer. I'm not because <laughs> first of all, you're making things for other people, right? But also you do share. They, they're very, I, I love being part of this business here. And so let's, okay. I'm sitting back. I bought a embroidery machine. I don't want to go to class and learn how to digitize, but I want better embroidery. Okay. So what, what, let's, let's talk about that feature. Let's talk about that favorite feature on the Floriani FTCU. So, and then I will, we're gonna let you show some wonderful- I'll products. show it, but um, I like the way that you describe it. So okay. why don't we go through it? All right, all right, so we'll do that. Deal. So let's go to the screen where we have the, um, okay, so right here, we're, we're, we've got our spaces there, okay. So <laughs> FTCU, okay, this software, many of you who are watching this, I know already have it, but this is for everybody who owns an embroidery machine and wants to have perfect embroidery, you should buy this software. Any machine, any, any machine, any brand. Okay. Because you don't have to go to digitizing class, which how many years did it take you back? Now you were, you're gonna show your original software worked with tape. Okay, yeah. okay, so. paper tape, you wanna yeah, see it? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> this so, is an embroidery design from the 1980s. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, but it's there's oh, little holes on the tape, you know, and my machine had a reel to reel. This is back when you had a modem and shall we play a game type thing. <laughs> no, that's a different movie. <laughs> this is oh, old fashioned, that's, that's for sure. That's yeah. old school. So the point is, is that <laughs> you went to school to learn how to digitize. You learned, you learned a lot. 
most of our customers, they want just to have good embroidery. They want to either buy a design, download it. And so this feature, okay, um, on the FTCU is called Save to Sew. And so we, this is our test turtle, <laughs> a test case. And I've shown this in so many of the seminars that we haven't stitched out, but I like showing this because he is professionally digitized. And in fact, this is a Floriani design. It's from our, our, yeah, he's one of, the, if you buy the software, you'll, the turtle's one of the designs that you get. That's right, okay. So he, we're gonna talk about, oh, you, actually you get designs all the time. Yeah, every month there's more. Does we do a, you know, we have a club. So if you own the software, you'll be a member of our software club and you get new designs every month, new videos every month, all the time. You see, that's, that's what's awesome about the software. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, well, that's a nice way to say it. Yeah. I like it. I, I didn't. I didn't make it. You're up. always getting more. You didn't. Hallmark might have taken that <laughs> I one <think> already. So. <laughs> so here we go. We load this design, okay, and we press one button. Everybody can do that. Save to sew. It Save doesn't take sew. classes it's to learn this. The disc with the wizard hat on the yeah, top. Yeah, that's right. I think they need to change. No one has a disc anymore. It should be a, nobody has a disc yeah. anymore. <laughs> it should be, it yeah. should be a Wi-Fi. <laughs> True, be that. Okay. Yeah. So see, the point is, this is all you need to do. You press this one button, and what happens? It brings up virtually every type of fabric that exists. Yeah. Okay. T-shirts, whatever you name it, please, or you know, anything. Anything. Uh, all and, of and I think T-shirt. Would list. you think T-shirt knit is one of the more difficult? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah, so, for sure. so that's the one I'm going to test. It's so but darn stretchy. It's stretchy yeah, in all yeah. different directions. And and I and, and the thing is, once you choose it, it already knows what design you load. So it knows what density it needs to make it and all the things. But let's first choose this. Okay because half the battle is preparation, right? It's not just the design, it's preparing it. Okay? The recipe. The know, recipe. The, how okay. are you gonna hoop it or- Exactly. Okay. Are you gonna fuse it or stick it? And that's a mystery, okay? It's a mystery to a lot of people. So uh, so here, here's what we first do next. We have this dialogue and it first comes up. I love it gives me writ a written description, okay? Uh, some people, that's the way they look. They like reading it out. It even talks about the needles. But really, there's three boxes that tell me everything I need to know. Right here, it talks about the stabilizer. Okay, mm -hmm. and it knows. So if if you're working with this case T-shirt knit, I feel don't you always use a, a fusible? Yeah. Okay, and definitely a a cutaway. Yeah, not a, a fusible tear. cutaway and. Um, if it's a lightweight t-shirt, you're gonna to wanna to use one that's sort of a translucent, like your no-show kind okay, of match. Okay, all right. Exactly. And so it, it actually has it, and those little symbols so it says, uh, watch YouTube and, and product info, info, so you get more information. Uh, and I'll, I'll show that uh, shortly. And this right here is what you, how to hoop it. And this is where, when I was doing it on cotton, like if I was to choose cotton, it probably would have told me to only fuse around the design and hoop just the fabric. Okay, but that's not the case with this one. They recommend hooping everything. You can't see it, but you know it anyway. Uh, but that's part. the concept yeah. is that it's giving you kind of like the Floriani's recipe for success. So if you tell it you're going to sew on a t-shirt, you get a, and it also reflects the design. So it takes into account the number of stitches in the design. And for like heavier designs, it'll make different recommendations than mm -hmm. if they're lighter designs. So it kind of understands that concept that uh, it's not just how do you sew on a t-shirt, because it depends on kind of how much embellishment you want to put on that t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really what Save to Sew is doing, George, is it's not only, because it's really two things. It's giving you this recipe, but it can also tinker with the design. And that's really the the magic of it. Tinker. I, yeah, I tinker. never. <laughs> is that a funny word? <laughs> like right from the old Tinker Toys, right? There Isn't that go. why yeah. we tinker? That must be a Canadian <laughs> slang. Is that a, I brought a little Canadian with me. Oh, eh? no. Oh. <laughs> Now, um, and I was talking about, you said two, yeah, wear two hats. I saw you, we're going to talk about hats later. So. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll. All right, so we're hooping. <laughs> and then the last thing is topper. And this is where most people fail. They don't put topping. They think topping is just for towels. But topper is used for most all your fabrics. Isn't yeah, that the case? Yeah, it's a great idea. Okay. It's going to give a layer of, um, it sort of like captures the stitches so they don't sink into the fabric. And they always stay up on top like that. And toppers are tearaway. You know, you just, they, just kind of gently remove them afterwards and it only the sort of topper that's captured by the stitches that's going to remain and be kind of captured and then your embroidery looks nicer yeah so right. sure toppers are an important part of getting a good result now, this is something that I, I wanted to point out it has where it links to youtube there's so much information out there but you don't know where it's at so right from the software it will link to the, the product it recommends and how to use it and so 
right away, we have not even got to the point where it cha it's actually going to re-digitize the design. That's what Save to Sew does. Yeah. Okay. It's making you better. And this is every single function. This is why I really, I've been on a tour saying that every person who owns an embroidery machine, this is the, the next important thing is to the machine is this software because this will make your embroidery machine so much better. It actually, sure. the results, it will, I mean, we got some samples of bad results. We're going to show you later, but you want good results, right? Okay. So what, what do we do after this? We go to next and we save the turtle. I like saying that. Save the turtle. Save like the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you, because you, yeah. you can have, this is the turtle for a baby onesie. Yes. And then this is the turtle for fleece. So you just put that in the name because you're not changing that. Yeah. So you end up with a name that tells you which turtle it is. So this is not just, again, this is not a design that has to be one that's built in. It is a design you downloaded, or it could be one you digitized. Mm -hmm. It's any design and it's going to change it and save it. And what this is representing, I think you're gonna show more of this here, it changes the density. Right. It changes the underlay. It yes. makes it so that those lines, if you remember when we had designs with an outline and the outline didn't match up, that's because the inside pulled, it's a push-pull combination. This actually adjusts that. Isn't that amazing? That is exactly what okay. it does, yeah. And so that alone is worth it, okay? Well, I think that that's what people that are brand new really love because they bought their embroidery machine, they're now collecting embroidery designs, they're getting quite a large collection, and then they go to embroider one, and then they don't have the results that they're expecting, and, and they so this frustrated. can be like a, yeah, frustrated, yeah. Okay, and, and when this they can be a problem they solver. They, they, they don't, this is what I experienced, because my experience, you, you started in the industrial industry, my experience has started way back when household machines first started becoming uh, computerized, and I found that People, there were some people that if they if they didn't get good results right away, they got frustrated and they put it away. Okay, this is going to make it so that they they get they, they have fun, and that and when you have fun, it's because you have good results, and you're gonna you're gonna learn more about it, and you're gonna figure out that this software also has a lot of other things. Okay. Oh yeah, the fun part, right? <laughs> okay. So sure. and I'm I'm gonna say this for you, but uh, you all kinds of digital all kinds of things you're gonna show on this. Year. I would love to. Okay. Yes. Right, I so will do that. And then the will. final thing that my customers love. Our customers love is that you never have to buy software again. It's free upgrades for life. In fact, it was eight years ago. They completely changed their platform because they knew the industry was changing and needing more power. And they gave everybody a new software program. Millions of dollars. I know the owner of RNK. Millions about millions of dollars they invested because they wanted to hold true to their upgrades here. So it's free updates, which means if you own the software, when we update it, which is usually uh, multiple times a year, uh, it's absolutely free. Everybody, and I mean, the students, everybody who owns the software loves it because uh, as soon as an update comes out, it's like getting new toys, you know, yay, something new to learn, some new fun, new buttons, new tools. And um, the best part is you don't have to wait and you don't have to buy it. So as soon as it comes out, everybody comes and gets it. And I think most people love that um, because a lot of times people buy their software, but they really haven't used it a lot and they wouldn't want to have to pay to update, but they don't really want it to get kind of left behind either. So I think people really love it. You know, eventually Windows 22 is going to come out oh, and you want to know that your software is going to work with it, right? they don't do <laughs> Vista 2. <laughs> yes. Windows 22 XP Vista oh, no. ME. No, um, I'm just saying that that is a really great feature. To, uh, personally, I love the updates because um, one of the hats that I wear, George, is actually um, the software manager for RNK Distributing. And so that means that it's actually my job to help plan those updates. We have quite a team that works on software at RNK. And so we work together to imagine um, the coolest, newest tools, if you will, and then get those developed and put into the program. So that is one of my very favorite things to do is to work on what's coming next, you well, know. Well, Trevor, I, I would love to have you show us some of your favorite sure. things. Why don't on we go software. onto my screen right, and then good. I will do a little demo. I thought we could start with that turtle because you showed it. And mm -hmm. I know I recognize the turtle. <laughs> He's from um, over on the right. So basically, this is the software that you talked about, George, mm -hmm. the Floriani embroidery software. And over on the right, see these little yellow tabs that says browser. And these are like the folders of my computer. If I click on a folder of my embroidery designs, these are like the designs from my embroidery club. Well, when I click on there, I can just scroll through to see and see how visualized it is. Um, you know, no longer do you have to see the word, you know, 
the name of the design, yeah. you can see the pictures of them. I, I like how large they are because other software programs that have thumbnails are smaller, and I need I need that. My my glasses, I can't always find my glasses. <laughs> oh, you're finding that too, hey George. Yeah. Um, if you find a design that you like, and all you have to do is basically click and drag to bring it onto the screen, and I think well, a lot of times what people will do is they will put an embroidery hoop on the screen, so. Um, if I click here, I can put an embroidery hoop on the screen. If you want to choose which one, well, that depends on what software or what machine you've got. So, you, so it, this is for every type of machine, every brand of embroidery machine that's out today. Right. Okay. So if you have the um, a machine that reads the PES format, so typically that's a brother or a baby lock, mm -hmm. then these are all the different hoops that are available for that machine. Nice. And so if you have a specific hoop that you want to you know, fill up with embroidery, you can choose it. Perfect. Um, so then basically the idea is you could make a layout, right? If you want to do hot dogs and ice cream cones wow. and you know maybe put lettering around it, um, you make, can resize the designs. <laughs> I'm making you hungry. Uh, one of the things that's coolest about it is the fact that you can take the designs that you purchased and then resize them and make them kind of your own new sizes. So it'll actually generate new stitches when I change the size of a design. And so I think that people really love that. Um, here, watch, I can hit new workspace and start a kind of new empty workspace at any point in time. And then um, I said I would go browsing for that. Uh, so I'm gonna change from the browser, which is kind of like the locations of my computer to the library. And the library is where you get, that's where all the, the designs that come with so the software free monthly come. designs so they the free every monthly month. designs yeah okay and so i know that um that turtle came from june of 2010. um now if you buy the software today you'll get all the designs that go back from all the years mm -hmm. that we've had the software club There's a it's hundreds and hundreds of designs yeah so if i basically bring that little turtle onto the screen so here's the thing you got a beautiful design, you know, it's, you know, it's professionally digitized. It came from um, Floriani. Um, but when we made it, we didn't know what you were going to sew it on. And so that's where Save to Sew comes in. That's well, the tool. Let's show, show them what it looks okay. like. Let's go to a sample. So here, of your I computer. can show you guys the, um, the before you, picture you can, here. Cause this is now, so it, you can really see that on a lightweight t-shirt, um, he doesn't look bad, but he's got like kind of puckering, right? It's, the the rouging in between yeah, the yeah. shirt it's, it's having a hard time it's almost like that bacon effect it kind of <laughs> <laughs> crinkling up a little bit yeah, yeah. but that's see, right this is what people see when they buy embroidery from people that are professional embroidery a lot of times professional embroiderers they don't know okay and they buy stock designs okay and and so that's a problem with all of our embroidery is that yeah they, I, I wish we had a close-up embroidery cam that really could see the, the, the bow <laughs> kind of because uh, the bright lights kind of hide the the it doesn't look as sort of wrinkly as it is but you can see the rouging that we're talking about and um typically uh when you have a design like that um that's where save to sew can really be the savior right and so if i go back on to the software so that's what i'm saying george is you can open up any embroidery design click on your tool for save to sew and then tell it what you're going to stitch it on Mm -hmm. And once this, because the software already understands the design and how much density it has and, you know, the way that it's been created, now you have this large sort of library of different types of fabrics. And just as an example, if I choose a baby onesie fabric and I click here, this is what tells it the software it's okay to edit your design. Um, because really, it's there's two things that it's going to do, and part of it is the recipe. So when I say next, the software goes to work and it starts to analyze your embroidery design and then it returns the recipe. Now, what's interesting is that this is the same design, but you chose something different. And look, the images are different. It's it's showing actually using a uh, yeah, perfect stick stabilizer well, for the onesie. Right. So I'll tell you what, because I because a onesie is kind of small mm -hmm. and they're um, usually quite hard to hoop. Mm -hmm. And so we usually uh, suggest a hoopless sort of process. Yeah. So it's recommending um, to fuse to the baby onesie, but then to stick the fused baby onesie onto a sticky stabilizer. Mm -hmm. So it's got a recipe here. And here's one of the coolest things. Not only is there a YouTube link that we could watch a video about it, and a product link to learn, you know, to learn more about that product if you don't already own it. Um, and all the instructions are in here. You could print it if you want. Um, but when I click finish, 
The software says, hey, do you want to save this design? I don't need to save it, but I could. And that's where I'm saying you could have, this is the baby one, you know, this is the turtle for the baby onesie. Mm. But look at this um, over here. This is a little bit of like a notes area, ah, George. Yeah. And so the whole instructions has now been added to the design notes. So for example, if we clicked on print preview and we were going to do like a printed template, you know, to, for your run sheet, Mm -hmm. All of the instructions on how to, you know, all your recipes now included into your, your printable run sheet as well. So, um, so one, okay, that's one thing it does is it gives you the recipe. But the other thing that it did was it actually analyzed the design and made changes to it. And so I'm just going to um, click undo for a minute and point out that the design originally had 13,435 stitches. Yeah. And then when I say redo... It went down. It says, it tells me up at the top here, it's now got 12,835. So the software has actually reduced, made, lightened it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and that's based upon the fabric that we chose. And you could have gone the total opposite direction. And instead mm -hmm. of doing a baby onesie, what if we did like polar fleece where it's like quite a thick sort of, sort of puffy material. And um, once again, I'll click here. So if you don't check this checkbox, George, it's sort of like saying, don't change the design, just give me the recipe. Oh, I so see. you don't have to have your design. If you don't want your design changed in any way, you cannot check the checkbox. It check would just box. give you like the stabilizer. It just gives correct. you the stabilizer, ah. but it won't touch the design. Okay. If no. I check this, it's like saying, yeah, you can change the underlay. You know, And, and some people might be saying, what's underlay, Trevor? Um, underlay are the very first, you've probably seen them. You know, when your machine is sewing and there's these funny tracing stitches and then the sort of cover stitch comes later. Well, those embroidery stitches are very important like because- a frame of a house, right? Very yeah, simple. they're like the foundation that keeps the stitching from sinking into the fabric. And so the point here is, if I tell the software that I'm sewing it on fleece, it's probably going to add more underlay. Um, now it gives me the recipe for embroidering on That's fleece. Changer, so it's, yeah. again, it's suggesting a, um, a sticky stabilizer. Um, as a first step, not the as second. As a first step, yeah. yeah. And then, but this time we didn't have to fuse. Uh, we could just stick the garment down and of course top it with some topper. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to use a number 11, you know, Floriani chrome needle. Um, so, but when I click finish, and once again, do you want to save it? And I won't bother, but you can. Um, now it would be, this is the turtle for fleece. And, um, but notice now the stitch count's gone higher okay. instead of lower. Okay. And if I was to look like zoom in, like really, really closely on the design and then see if I go undo oh, sure. and, and then redo see the kind of changes that's happening. Uh -huh. So this is something that the software can do, okay. not just on designs that, you know, it came with, but even the ones that you buy. Well, and this is why I say, if you had only one reason you needed to buy the software, this would be it, because it's it's going to make their birdie perfect. Yep. In fact, here's you're, you're going to show the, the, the turtle. Sure. We have that so, close-up shot of him right here. He, he, he can hold it up. There's uh, the uh, improved version of Mr. Turtle. <laughs> and Some people um, have seen that. I've showed that at a lot of seminars, but I love showing that because it's true. It's it's It really changed it here. So let's that, that show us some of the other Save fun to stuff. So is a very fun tool and it can really be kind of like that sort of problem solver. Um, but you know, to be honest, George, I think that a lot of people when they first buy the software, what they like to do is not necessarily um, just do save to sew, but maybe repurpose their embroidery designs that they already own. Right? Like if I want to play a little bit, then I can go browsing through, for example, if I click on my browser and I go to, Oh, my embroidery designs and I start scrolling through. And if there's a design that you want to work with, all you've got to do is like click and drag to bring it onto Those your work. Beautiful designs you have there. Oh, thank you from my embroidery club. I've got a lot of um, really beautiful designs that are part of the Trevor and friends embroidery okay. club. And this little butterfly is one of them. Um, what I would do with this is I would select it and then do like a cool layout. So if I want to do, for example, a layout in a circle, I click circle template. And now the whole, um, you might notice everything's in metric, A, eh, George? That's because I'm from Canada, That's right. eh? And I like to do things in metric, but I know that a lot of your customers probably like to do things in inches. 
And just, I want to point out that all you have to do is right click on the ruler. They say someday we're going to change, but I have not seen it in my lifetime. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I don't know. Uh, one way or another, now that I've changed it to inches, notice that like the measurements around my design say that it's four inches oh, wide, I see three it. inches that's tall. That's an update. Right? That's not always been there. No, it? that's true. That was something that we changed. That nice. now, like when you click on a design, it tells you its size. And, nice. and then if I click on the circle tool, um, it puts the circle. Now, now all my numbers are in inches, right? So um, it's sort of like the the butterflies are touching each other. So maybe if I made the circle just a little bit larger, it'll leave more room for the butterflies, kind of thing. And then you can like change their angle. So if you just sort of swirl the angle around, you can put them on any angle that you want. Mm. And you can have as many different copies of the butterfly if you want to around your circle. You just click, you know, more and more and more. And so basically this is the idea. You could start with one butterfly, turn it into a swarm of butterflies or a circle of butterflies. Maybe you want to add some text and turn it into a monogram. Well, so it was, it's now abstract. So it doesn't have to be anything. It's just, it's just creating a beautiful arrangement. I love to play with the yeah. software, and, and I think this is what um, you can do when you own embroidery designs. So what I did was I clicked on the monogram tool, and it puts down like a little tiny monogram that just says ABC. Obviously, you could change it to, you know, what's yours, George? Uh, GMM. You're kidding. Yeah. That's my fit, my kid's favorite TV show. GMM? Yes. Good yeah. Mythical Morning, right? Oh. <laughs> it's like one of the hottest shows on YouTube. Uh, I, Good I Mythical don't know. Morning. I didn't know that. <laughs> You don't know about GMM? No. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. We digress. <laughs> but so, sorry, tangent. Um, but the idea is you can choose. There's all different types of monograms, oh, uh, fonts, all the different, borders, different styles and of they, them. This is all with the traditional. Some what of you them call have the, little borders and doodads that go monogram. with them. And yeah, so basically you can choose whichever one you want and just click apply and it's going to kind of update your monogram. Nice. And then obviously it's kind of not really big enough. So um, rather than try and figure out the size, I'll just kind of visually click and drag to sort of resize it and center it, you know, into my screen. And mm. uh, to me, I think this is what people like to do. Yes, it's um, it's a design tool, but not for creating from scratch. To create from the stuff you already bought. Like I know you guys are collecting embroidery designs, right? Mm -hmm. And um, if you buy my embroidery club. You'll have hundreds of them. Like these are just some of the designs from season one of my club, of the Trevor and Friends Embroidery Club. And um, for example, this is a really beautiful design. Um, it's kind of got an Asian feeling to it. It's crane birds, and there's like a whole oh. Oriental branch sort of scene going on. And That's um, gorgeous. I just think that sometimes we have a design like this, and we're like, you know, I just want that one crane. Yeah. You know, I don't want the, I don't need it all. I'd really just like to be able to select that one crane. But see, when I selected the crane, everything got selected. Well, that tells me it's all grouped together. Mm -hmm. And if I just click on group, then I try again, um, it'll select whatever's in my box. So see the box that I draw, whatever is in it wow. is what's selecting. And so if you have troubles drawing a box that'll like fit your bird, there is a lasso. And with the lasso, I can like click to draw the box. So basically all I'm saying is I've got this cool design, but all I really want to do is get okay. a one bird. I have, like, I have to say this though. <laughs> no birds were harmed in this presentation. No birds were harmed. This is true. <laughs> um, so now I can click copy and start a new total design and then just paste that, cr that crane, that mm. one piece of that other design into my new nice. workspace. And, um, now you can design with this crane. That's Maybe amazing. you just need to make like a cool name tag. So instead of doing a circle of cranes, I'll do like corners of cranes. And oh, here, the white color is kind of hard to see. Yeah. So why don't we change it? By the way, I think that colors is one of the most popular things to change about embroidery designs. Everybody, um, you know, it's not that we don't like the colors they come in, but we want to be able to choose our own, right? Mm -hmm. And we might not own the same brand. You might have bought the design and it said Janome colors, but you don't happen to own the Janome brand and you own Floriani, or, or maybe it's the reverse and you own Janome and not Floriani. Well, down at the bottom, I've got a button right here that says match to palette. And these are all different thread palettes that the software comes with. Um, you can even create your own thread palettes if you want to make your own custom thread palettes. But for example, if you did own, maybe it was the Janome thread, fine. 
choose the Janome colors, and now it'll closest match. And notice that the design colors are all matched in That's the right. in the, nice. in the you know. But of course, I've got the Floriani brand. Um, I have all the Flori. I have all 360 of the Floriani colors. Of course you do. And when I change now, it's telling me those colors in Floriani. But you also could have it where it's one of one brand, and one you can mix and match the brand. Right, absolutely. So if you wanted to, you could like set your palette at the bottom to be the new Quilter Select thread. We'll be talking about that this weekend a little bit, mm -hmm. the kind of new um, pair of cotton poly. Well, if I change the bottom, so now all the my thread chart at the bottom are Quilter Select threads. And if I click on, for example, the color red, it will find me the closest match in the sort of Quilter Select brand to choose. Or if you want to change the color entirely, just click on whatever nice. color you want to. And so now I've got like Floriani, Floriani, and Quilter Select all in kind of one design. Mm -hmm. um, anyhow, the idea is you may have designs that you own that you would like to take the bird off the branch and then put it on the birdhouse, you know, mm -hmm. and turn it into an embroidery design. I, I, I find myself doing more editing than digitizing. But although I know how to digitize, not as good as you, of course, yeah, that's been your expertise. But I, I think I'm like a lot of people. I like adding lettering, I like sizing, I like editing. And that's really these, these powerful tools. That I just you like work. to dance with the cranes every there once in a while, yeah. you know. <laughs> so <laughs> you mentioned um, your embroidery club and you have two of the embroidery clubs. Back, back, back to earth, back to earth. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sorry. so uh, are these all designs that you digitize or didn't you have uh, guests to, to describe what the embroidery club was? Okay, thank you, George. Um, Trevor and Friends Embroidery Club is, um, it's a it's a collection of embroidery designs. It's for anybody that owns an embroidery machine. Um, I've got season one and season two. And um, basically the easiest way I can kind of explain it is maybe just to grab the book and say, um, everything that's in the book would be what you would get, George. It's, you know, it's a it's a whole sort of collection of embroidery designs. Um, it's not just- you're, oh, you're, Yeah, you're, you're my, covering my your mic, yeah. Am I you. messing up? Yes. Um, so, so, so one you, thing you want to know about this is that there's projects. There are let's things that you let's can put this make. camera on here. You want me to hold yeah, it? Up yeah, here? yeah, yes. So it, just so we're not going to show you every me. page, but I want them to see that. So yes. So now I can kind of get a little bit closer yeah. to it. And, and so you what you printed off is goes. what's on the the. Uh, you don't have to print them. You can look at the PDFs, right? Right. Okay. You lost your. Uh, I got it. We're we're Sorry. better at embroidery than than production here. <laughs> what you get is um basically everything that's in the book. And so uh, their embroidery designs, there are projects. In fact, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Kimberly. She's a California I, I girl Kimberly. right from right from down here in the valley. Yeah. And um, this is actually a project that Kim made for a in the hoop zipper bag. Okay. And so she would be one of the friends in Trevor and Friends Embroidery Club. Um, uh, I want to give a shout out to Kim because I know her husband's been having a rough go and so I probably won't get to see her this trip. Mm. But hi, Kim, I hope you're doing good. Um, but the point here, George, is this is a project. There's a little video. It's 27 minutes long. You'll watch it. It's Kim and I talking about how to make the zipper bag. So let, let me it's back up. So it's not just what they print out. You They have links to videos, right? Is that? Yeah. So you download and you own it all. So basically, if you join, you'll download the everything in the club and you'll own that. And, and so you'll have the video, you'll have the designs, and you'll have the, pre, the sort of PDF pages um, that make up this kind of embroidery club. And so... You know, this is everything that was in season one. There's over I'll 300 pages. Season two. And then season two is actually ongoing, so it's not actually fully completed You should yet. call it Embroidery Survivor, <laughs> season <Embroidery>. two. <laughs> if I survive season two. Yeah. Um, the truth is, uh, if season two is, uh, we've only released about nine of the downloads. There's still more to come. Um, but once again, it's a, it's a really beautiful embroidery collection. Lots of great embroidery wow. designs, videos um information i like that it's education as well as the design it is but, but the education here is not about software it's about uh just doing embroidery in general hooping stabilizers um i do have education for you know the software We're talk about but that's different right this is an embroidery club and really anybody could embroider could enjoy these embroidery clubs george um and thanks for asking me about them no, um I, i'm just impressed with that here so so let's if you come if you were here in person then I would have a lot of great examples of sort of more well, things are. that they're, we they're, can they're, show. They're, this is, you know what, I've, I've obviously we love seeing people in person, but I've talked to more people across the country that have 
amazing stories. I'm sure you have too. And I've helped them with sometimes the, the simplest thing can get them going on their projects. And so I love the fact that we can do this virtually. I do too. My, my friends base, because of my customers, I've always considered my friends and it's grown so much in the last three years. Isn't That's it awesome. wonderful? No, I've made some of my best friends through my hobby, through the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Trevor and friends in Burgery is a, an example of that. You know, okay. people like Kim, like my friend Maggie that helped me kind of create it. Those were people that I met, just like you said, through the internet. Yep, yep. Now, you showed editing on the software. Now, let's show some of the power that it has in creating designs. Right, okay. okay. Now you're getting into the like Trevor's favorite yeah, parts, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, so, so we're giving you every reason why you need the software. If you don't already have it, you, you're gonna get it. Yeah, so basically, um, to create, George, um, if I said to you, uh, if you have an SVG file, we're good to go, would you understand what I meant by that? I, you know, do, but, I don't think but everybody, not everybody gets would. that really. And what I'm trying to explain is um, images, right? Because I don't, I, I, people see a lot of beautiful embroidery that I've made, but almost always there's a picture that I made it from, George. I'm not an illustrator, I, I don't draw. I'm a good tracer, you know, that's mm -hmm. what I like to think. Yep. I'm pretty good. If you give me a picture, I can trace it. If I said, do you know what a JPEG image is? See, so there's two kinds of images and you have to kind of talk about them to know how to create embroidery. So let me just bring up a JPEG of this cute little dog. And it comes onto my screen and I'm just gonna zoom in really, really close. So can you see what he's actually yes. made of, George? Dots, pixels. Dots, yeah, pixels. colors, little, little pixels of colors. And if you look over on the right-hand side, you'll notice that there's nothing in my sequence view. And this becomes kind of the question is, how do you create embroidery for it when there's, you know, what we'd really like is to be able to select on that ear and then decide what kind of stitching it's going to have. It, and I, I bet you that's most people, that's the image they would start with. That is the most common, right? Yeah, if you yeah. go on the internet and you type in puppy picture, you know, you're going to get probably something that's made up of pixels. Now, the reason I say, do you understand what artwork is, is because now in, um, they're becoming much, much more commonly available. The SVG file, the, all of your digital cutting machines use them. There's a lot of free yeah. vector, vector artwork. Yes, yeah, yeah. scalable vector yeah, okay. graphics. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, for example, if I open up the puppy, and so this is the same puppy, I just have to find his number. It's right uh, there. So this is the same puppy, but this time when I open it, he's actually made up of artwork. And notice in my sort of sequence area that you can see his ears. Oh, there's there's the shape for the ear right there. Uh -huh. And all I have to do is click. So basically, if you have a vector image, what you have is like an empty embroidery design. Right they're like the, the shapes are there, but somebody's got to decide what kind of stitching they're going to get, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of clicking on this and saying fill, you know, to fill it in with thread. And but then, what if you don't have that puppy in the vector artwork? Right. And so that's the sort of challenge that when you when you just have this kind of an image, then you're going to use something like a wizard hat or a magic yes. wand to have it be kind of auto traced. Yeah, and that's the benefit of the software. That's that's what ha always has made me like the software, because through that wizard, it, right. it, it virtually it draws an outline, which it draws it, 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 it turns it into a vector. Yeah. Like if I just click on this little magic wand and then come over that very same ear and click, it outlined it for me. See, look, I'll just hide my picture for a minute. Oh, of course, it's in like a white color, so you're not seeing it. Let me change it to red. There. Now, if I hide my picture, you'll see how it traced that ear for us. Yes. And now I can click on it. And the great news is now down at the bottom of the screen, these are all the different styles of embroidery. Every click, if I click on the first one, it will make a run stitch outline of that ear. Um, if I click on this one, it'll make a satin stitch outline of the ear. If I click on this one, it will fill the ear in. So easy. You know, and then it's a fancy fill. And the, it just went, so fancy means there's a decoration yeah. and it's not just smooth. It's uh, kind of got a decoration. And that decoration, if I click on it, when you look in the properties box, this is where you can start to take the control. So sure, with one click, I can get a fancy fill. But now I can click on the properties area and there's hundreds of different fancy yeah. fill patterns that I could apply inside of that ear shape. Yeah. 
And see, I love the fact that all those buttons are on the bottom of the screen, all your different tools, so a person can play. Yeah. And that's what's exciting. Now, um, you have workshops that go through this. I, I think there's oh, three yes. of them. I sure do, George. I love to talk about it. I love to teach and I love to share kind of how to create your own designs. In fact, this puppy was one of the designs that I did as like a step by step in one of the workshops, right? Only when we did the puppy, um, what we did was we did them as a layered applique. So imagine the challenge um, here. Let me show you. I'm going to do the puppy, but he's kind of small to be an applique. He's really only just over an inch tall. So you probably wouldn't applique a puppy that was like this small. So let me make it. Um, notice when I um, grab on this handle, it kind of tells me how big it is. And there's like a little window that's floating along. And I just so I can see, oh, now it's four inches. Now it's, you know, three inches or whatever. So I made him bigger. And the reason I did that was so that he would be big enough that I could um, actually use an applique for things like his ears, right? So if you click on the ear, and you click on applique, notice over here in the sequence area, it now and before it said his ear was artwork. Well, okay. now it says it's an applique. I see. It knows, and if I click plus, that applique has one, two, three color stops. It even has instructions on how to <laughs> sew the applique so that if you click print preview, it'll even have the sewing instructions for how to sew an application. That's an update too. It was an update. Yeah, yeah that I, was an update. I need to update you are right. my software. <laughs> you are right. Those are things that have changed over time. Oh. But so the cool thing here is, George, I'm just going to quickly do it. So if I do the two ears both as an applique, so there's an applique for both ears, and let's say you want to do an applique for the puppy's face. So now you've got like an area, you can see it right here where the ear goes under the face and if you have a white fabric here and a brown fabric there and there's kind of like this satin border that the, the worry is that your um your applique would be noticeable sure. like through the white sure. and so the it's a real simple fix right all i have to do is click on that applique shape right click to get a like an extra menu that has an option for remove overlaps oh wait i have to select two of these appliques not one of them and now go. I can do okay. remove, oh, sorry, select two of these appliques. Yeah, that was my mistake. You have to only have two of them, but you'll notice that's kind of irony. Um, when I right click and do remove overlaps, mm -hmm. it actually did both ears. <laughs> I don't oh, know why that just kind of threw me off, it, but it knew it didn't need Did it. you see what it did? I see it. Like it actually took those stitches out. And if you watch it stitch out, oh, this is one of the coolest things. Up here, you have a slow redraw like tool. That. Yeah. So now you can basically just click play and watch the design stitch out on your screen. And notice how it removed the sort of underlying stitches underneath the head. Like mm -hmm. here, maybe rather than watch it so kind of slowly, I can take my mouse and just make it so even faster. Um, but see how it did that ear and how it made the sort of cover stitch go away. Sure where the cover stitch for the face will but come over top of it. It still had the placement stitch and it still had the it tack had down. The placement stitch and the tack down, but it removed the cover. I, and I was it about trimmed that. the placement stitch to match the shape of the face and not go underneath it. Nice. So that's nice. just like a simple example. I mean, yes, I love to create embroidery. Okay. Um, and that is something that is an example of it. You know, so, so your workshop. Like you said, this was from one of your workshop. Was it number it one, is, two, yeah. or three? You have three There's of them. There's three workshops, okay. George. I mean, that's only partially true because um, I am actually getting ready to start a fourth one. Well, wait, did a I hear one. this first? I did. did you you did. first. You heard it here first. It's exciting news. Um, but so the puppy George is from workshop three. Um, but every one of my workshops are actually a series of classes. So um, I'm just going to grab the binder. This is um, all of the printed pages. So every time I record a class, I make like a PDF and that PDF has, um, here, let's go on to my camera. Yeah, it's easier for me to, to take control. There, there you go. Take control. Um, so basically I've recorded the classes and if you join my workshops, you can download them all and catch up. You can binge watch like Netflix, you guys, and catch up with us. Um, but there are um, 
three workshops and each one of them had a dozen classes. Well, in the beginning I had a dozen, but I kept adding and adding and adding. And so now there's, um, there's over 20 classes in workshop number one. Oh my goodness. Um, they're all two hour classes. So that means in workshop one, there's about 40 hours to watch. And so um, this will teach you virtually everything that the software does. We do lots of things like create our own motifs. This is a motif challenge. We had a mo I, I'll, get, I'll issue challenges and get you guys to do things and try things. Um, so it's really, this is about learning the software. This isn't just, um, sure, you get beautiful embroidery designs as part of being a member of the, of the workshops. But really, it's about learning to create embroidery designs, George. So it's it's for anybody that owns the Floriani software would love uh, to yes, keep that's, learning that's with Trevor. One, you know? and you have two, and you have three. There's three so workshops. All yeah. right. So the one last thing I'd like you to show, uh, and then we'll, we'll we'll go on because people are ready to get some of this stuff. I know it, especially when I tell them the, the deals. Um, photos. Photos mean a lot to people. Oh yes. And what I I, I don't today we have our photos on our phone. Okay. We do. The problem is we can't find them on our phone. Although I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning to put albums. I'm good at that. But I, I like, I like the, the albums from the old days. But I also like stitching. I've got a couple uh, photos that uh, that mean a lot to me, and and they're actually uh, when my kids were young. And usually, uh, you know, my wife always had a great opportunity. She always, or not opportunity. She always had a great eye to catch the right time. To, and the photos that just mean so much. So I've stitched out a couple of those. And. I've stitched it up because I use the software. And I want you to use show the photo stitch software. Photo right? two stitches. Photo stitch, yeah. Yes, and that was a free update, by the way, George. Like free. we didn't have this. I would tool. call that an upgrade. That's not I an mean, upgrade. but it was free, right? Either yeah. way, upgrade. See, see, that's the update. thing is when you think of upgrade, you pay. Well, it's not with Florian the other FTCU. Companies want you to pay for the upgrades. And I and I understand why. Um, so this is the that's my dog. His name is Ryder. Right. And um, that's so that is from my iPhone, right? I, I was on the fishing boat with Ryder and I snapped the picture and then I emailed it to myself. So I would have basically gone on the phone and went been like share. And then I sent email and um, I it asks me like small, medium, large. So I sent the large size over to my computer and then I received the email and I saved the picture. And so basically now we'll go onto the software and um i'll uh, click on the tool it's right here photo to stitches and the first thing it does is let me browse my computer so here's the photograph that i took of my dog Ryder, and i'll just open that up and now i mean even when i sent it to my computer um and i chose the large size well, that's pretty big. It says it's 28 inches. And I know your embroidery machines are getting some big hoops. They are. But we haven't managed to hit 28 inches yet. Can you imagine the amount of stabilizer to use <laughs> <Right>? that? <laughs> that would goodness. be a lot of stitches, too. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is say, well, I don't have a 28-inch hoop, but I do have a you know 14-inch hoop or a 12-inch hoop. So if I type 12 and click Apply, it reduces the size. Yeah. You know, So now I know. And if you don't want all of the background, you could like mask it off. Nice. That's easy. Um, yeah. There's different kind of shapes. So if you'd rather have an oval background, you could put an oval background. Nice. You can even do custom. So custom basically means that you get to click and you can literally cut Ryder out of the background and just have the embroidery be Ryder. I won't kind of take the time it would take to kind of do a really good job of that right here, but I'll just quickly kind of show you what I mean. So if I go like that and right click, See, it gets rid of all the background, and now it's just Ryder that's going to get and stitched. And I want to talk to my production crew. Let's just see just the computer screen. because they, they, they Yeah, get go. rid of me. That's yeah, right. not, not, we don't want to get rid of them. But, but yeah, like that's good. It. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can really see kind of... Now, when I made my T-shirt, I chose the oval mask, and then I just kind of made it so that it surrounded my dog's face like that. And whatever you're happy with this stage, and you're like, okay, I've got the size set, and I've got my picture kind of masked off, then you say next. And so now the software is going to go to work and make the embroidery design, right. um, except for you can influence it. So at this point, the first question is, how many is the maximum number of colors you're willing to look for? Mm -hmm. And it, even though I own all 360 colors, you know, um, I don't want to. Sometimes I just want to pick 20 color. You know, I'm like, is 20 enough? So I click 20 and click apply. And then you can kind of, it'll update and yeah, you'll be like, still oh, looks still good. looks good at yeah, 20, you know, yeah. maybe I can try two color, you know, and you can play with the number of colors. The other thing is um, right now it's choosing colors from the Floriani poly polyester thread chart. Um, if you make your own thread chart, 
then it'll pull, you could, you could match the colors to any thread chart in the software. So all of the different brands of thread. And like George was saying, you could make your own thread chart that actually represented the thread that you own. Hmm. And then the soft, then this tool would be choosing from colors that, Amazing. you know, you actually own. And, and, um, but right now it's just going to choose from any Floriani polyester color, the closest matching 20. Um, if I change it from color to, for example, gray, then it will do 20 shades of gray, you know, and you could come in and change this up to 50 and then you know you what you get right george <laughs> i'm not going there <laughs> kidding. so um but the, not catching me in that one <laughs> i almost had them oh. um so but there's grayscale there's sepia tone there's monotone and um whatever you choose you just click apply nice. um oh, I, I like a, that the season, i did a color yeah. one on mine so let's stick with color okay you have um, one stitched out. i see your sample yeah i got my t-shirt right here um now the choices are either curvilinear or crossover. So it's like a, uh, there are different kind of ways that it does the stitching. Curvilinear is kind of like a micro stippling, if that would well, make sense. That's what I'm noticing on this. It looks I, a little bit like. I, I, I'm sorry, off the camera screen, I'm, I'm, I'm touching George this sample. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's on a t-shirt and, and you're truly, it's right. It's like little circles and it's not as dense as others. And so what that does for you, let, let, let's put it on, on there. Yeah. Now, what the thing about this is not near as dense as other photo stitch. And so it's on a t-shirt and still lies nice. It's on a t-shirt with one layer of stabilizer. That's amazing. Most photo and stitch. It's not puckered. Is not and, it's still, and it still kind of has the soft flow of the shirt, right? It's not hard or dense in any way. And it looks just like my dog. Nice. And 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 um, people love And you can wear that with stitches. pride. Absolutely. That's right. You know, I, my poor dog, he just had surgery on his knee all right yeah that's so what happens, you know that's amazing so let so what when what i when i click come back in just to finish it george mm -hmm. all i have to do whenever you're happy with the results you know you chose your colors you chose whatever kind of settings that you wanted when you click finish it makes the embroidery design and really that's all there is to the tool it's nice. so it's very there's, easy to you do you know there's so. so many features on this that we could have a 24-hour marathon but you don't need to right you don't need to do that because you've got your workshops right because that's the marathon about this here and so let me because i know there's a lot of people that want to hear about this here so let, let's let me tell you what we have special for you tonight okay so we've got trevor on demand <laughs> that's good this trevor is put, on demand. <laughs> so this, this is a special is put together by the rnk company rnk is the owner of Floriani, yeah. uh Quilter Quilter Select, Select, and then rnk product embellish, embellish. Yeah, okay. as well, yeah. so they really um I, I really feel like they have their, their their thumb on the pulse of our industry. Would you say? Absolutely. At least on you. <laughs> no, um, uh, very very creative company, full of very talented people. They, they are yeah, very talented. So they put together this this workshop. Okay, this this package. So this is all three of the workshops. So the workshops are the DVD educations on everything that has to do with the software on digitizing things like that. There's, it's uh, currently over a hundred hours that I've recorded for the workshops, George. You don't have to watch all 100 hours. In fact, I've, you can. I, there's a good down and dirty, you know, watch the first four hours to get you started, okay? okay like right. Now <laughs> I have to tell people, this is not the Floriani software. This is for someone who owns the software. This is the education. Because I know someone's gonna say, I bought this for that price, I where's the software? No, this is just the education, correct? The right. software required. If you wanted to learn this to digitize, then you definitely need the Floriani software. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And then this has both embroidery clubs. That's both all those wonderful clubs, yes. designs. And it has other information too, like like information on how to make the most projects. Yeah, my little embroidery recipe box segments where I teach you know more about stabilizers and, and hooping mm -hmm. and needles. I remember, I, let's go back to this here. Take my, they took my slide away. <laughs> uh, I've sold these individually, and I think the retail was three hundred dollars on some of them. Yes, and, and, for and one workshop. One workshop. Okay, so here it is tonight. Okay, get ready. We're going to give you the phone number tonight. All of them. Two hundred ninety-nine dollars. That is two ninety-nine ninety-nine. Very great. All of them. This is such a good deal that maybe you have one of them, or maybe you have two of them. You still couldn't get the rest of them for this price. So if you have some of them, get this and you can give those to a friend, right? But wait, George, there's more. What what is there? Because I'm we're gonna include 
workshop four. Oh, you're not going to do that. So yeah. Okay. Now how how so, what's that, how's that going to happen? Well, so if anybody was to purchase this event, this bundle, this special bundle that George is showing, um, then George will email you guys so that you can get started. Because what I'm telling you is that we have a brand new workshop, workshop number four. It's just about to begin. And the cool thing there is the classes are recorded live. And so if you want, you can join in and actually participate in the live classes. Okay. Um, that's optional because if you're at the beach and I get it, you know, out here in California, sometimes we're at the beach. Um, you can just watch the recordings when you're ready for them, you know, and I that's think right. that's one of the things people really love about it. So this is, is an exclusive. They will own all of those recordings on their own computer and they will watch them when they're ready. It could be years from now when you're finally ready for it. Then you can watch them. So <laughs> let, let me this rehash is, this because Trevor pulled this on me about sorry, an, an hour, hour and a half ago. <laughs> I'm like, by the way, George, by the way, we have this I'm starting and, the number four. And so, so let's this would it. be something that people would buy extra. But if you buy this tonight, and at, what's going to happen is after this week, we're going to send them a list, and he's going to email you you yeah a, a the code. invitation to join yeah, and to be attend the classes live download all of the classes right from the beginning right all of it so what 299 dollars is talking about everything that's in this book which is already over 100 hours of videos and tons and dozens and dozens of pages and designs and projects plus season one and season two of the embroidery club and 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 each one of these has hundreds and hundreds of embroidery designs all right so all you have to do here's how easy you go you go to moors-so.com let's make that a little bigger if we can okay we'll go back here because i want you to see how easy it is okay right on our website the front page we made it so you just click on event specials and then you have two options you have on the left side is the trevor on demand and you simply click add to cart i mean as easy as possible and so but it's going to be sent direct find the Floriani company. We've arranged it so that'd be easier. We know they have it in stock, but it's allowed two to, to three weeks. But as soon as this week ends, then we're going to get your information because you, they're going to ask for your email and everything, obviously. Um, and we're going to send Trevor a list and then you're going to get that invitation for workshop four. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, it'll be great because then um, you can attend the the newest classes live while you're kind of watching the, pa the past ones. And then you'll be able to ask questions. Um, you can always email me. So even if you're not coming class live, you know, one of the easiest things is send an email and then I get back to you guys. And they get that email from the Floriani website here. Or what was your email? I share it all the time. Uh, Trevor at sunsetstitches.com. Okay. Trevor at sunsetstitches.com. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now what's better than $299? You know what's better than $299? What is better than $299? Free. <laughs> okay. So who wants free. that free? That free. is better. You're right. Okay. I agree. So I happen to know that. So let's talk about the special we have on FTCU. Okay. Because okay. this is my favorite. Part. Okay. So, yeah, so FTCU. I love the software, okay. you guys. Here's, here's, here's if you know, here's how you know you need FTCU. You own an embroidery machine. That's simple, it. Simple as that. Pretty much that, it. If you that, own an embroidery machine, you really should have yeah. it. It's the best software that you'll ever yeah. buy. Yeah. And so just um, for that, save the sew alone. But it has so many other things. We just scratched the surface. You were going to show other things, but I was looking at the time. We yeah, need... I can keep going. Yeah, George. I know. I, I enjoy talking with I you. I want to make a. I was going to show. I was going to make a crest. We'll uh, get to that. Oh, we'll get there. We'll, we may not get okay. there, but All right. I'm at least going to show them the crest I made for George. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. So FTCU. First of all, we have a special bonus where once you purchase it, you register it, you get 15 interactive you design a pack oh so, i should show those yeah well that, that so can look i show at, those well, i wouldn't well, let you show but let's look at this can you see what it does it's, it's actually interactive it's like mr potato head it's these are monsters and you get to choose the arms and the legs and what's on his head and they're interactive stock design collections okay you, but you you have uh, you have they're, some of them they're they're for making memories with your kids and your grandkids they can you can let the kids design their own monsters or their own rob robots or train engine um so normally these are things that we sell that, okay. you know, you can buy them. Let's, let's switch to your computer. I what saw some samples. What you're saying is that if you buy the software, you, these are part of the 15 bundle. 15 different right? ones. They're going to send it yeah. to you. So I've got pictures that I can show you of Please. the collections, George. And so let's just show the screen. There we go. These are collections of uh, interactive stock design. So the idea is you would pick your scene, 
This is the clothesline scene. Uh. You would choose your own text that was going to go in it. And then, of course, you'd have to decide which clothes were going to be on the clothesline. And, and it's just by choosing those options. There's, it's really yeah, it's not like a lot click, of work. Click, click. This is like different kind of um, photo frames. Oh, nice. And then all the kind of little doodads that you can dress your frames up with. Um, now you're designing your own flowers with the funky flower collection. Um, this is one of my favorites, the kids' pockets. And so you've got all these cute little pocket shapes and then all these different pocket toppers that you can put on the pockets. Mm -hmm. um, monograms is very popular. It's like a special sort of circle monogram collection. And then there's all these different circle monogram designs that and, you can And these all end up being part of the FTCU. It's not a separate. They're all built into that. The, the... Correct. Like if I actually was in the software, then those tools are found here under this you design it tool so it becomes part of the software they become part of they're like nice. built in right and instead of just having the monsters you got your robots or your snowman or the split kids oh, or the so stick like figures snowman. and stick figures is one of my favorites because you can do every single person in your entire family even your extended family you're gonna have to choose you know what kind of pants they have and what do, kind do, of shirt do they, they have, have a stitch and, figure with the dad bod uh, the dad bod <laughs> <laughs> yes there is jared and they're editable <laughs> Like they're totally editable. So once you kind of design them, then you can resize or this is a fun one. The oh, kids nice. love making their own monster trucks and you get to decide like who's the driving the truck, the truck and yeah. what kind of tires it's got and what's on the hood and what's on the trunk. And Okay, um, so 15 of them. There's 15 collections just to kind of even show them all. And they're um, free. Well, they're not free normally, but no, if you but buy the software. Buy free, but but buy they're the no, software, normally yeah. they sell like $200 each. Yeah, they are. They're all, they're, they're like an embroidery collection that you would buy and you get, you know, there may be hundreds of designs here, but then it's the thousands the and thousands of combinations yeah, that you can put those designs so together. Um, so yeah, you get, so if you buy the software, you've got this special bundle with okay. all fif 15 of them. Like th that's going to be a box. It's going to be like a stack, like, you know, <laughs> this big, George, you got to show that you guys got to show them that. Oh, I, well, I, 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 I would if I had them. This big, you guys, is like a stack of discs, like you know, fifteen <laughs> discs tall. <laughs> it's getting late. He's, he's getting a little punchy. <laughs> All right, so you get those. Um, so the package value is nearly seventy three hundred dollars. Now, Trevor and I were talking about commercial software, and we we're talking about his first software was made by the company who makes Floriani, Hexi's dad. Okay, and commercial software. The Floriani has commercial software. That sells for in excess of twenty five thousand oh, dollars. Oh, absolutely, you guys. Okay. Uh, we don't know in the home world what you know how expensive this stuff really can be, mm -hmm. and um, this is a tremendous value, you guys. A tremendous, tremendous value. Yeah, and so this is very close to their industrial software. There's some functions for the big multi head machines that they don't put on there, but the, I've had pe people actually buy this instead of the, the industrial software. So seventy two ninety eight. That'd be a bargain if I was buying it for an industrial machine. But today, now you got to close your eyes. 1999. Now, hold on. Let me let me erase that because you're not going to see that on our website. I'll tell you why in a second. That's below what I'm supposed to. So you see how quickly I can take this off? Okay. And then take it's gone. I didn't know anything. Okay. George. All right. So that's the price. 1999. Okay. We have interest. That is finance. an exceptional. Okay. Volume. It's amazing. And again, you won't see it on the website. I'll tell you how we're going to order it. But wait. But wait. There's more. There is more. There more <laughs> Ta -da. uh there's more George. we're gonna give you trevor on demand all that education and also of course the, the new volume that comes out so that puts it over eighty eight hundred dollars now i told you first of all the 77 percent off that's that crazy is a great that's deal. Crazy. now i told you that you can't get this on the website so right now i've got people standing by this is the the top number is 714-279-683 Zero. That's the number at the location that we are at right now. And we're going to stay right now. It is uh, 7 p.m. Uh, and, and we're going to stay here for about a, an hour. And they're going to answer your questions. And you can make your purchase there. Uh, or they're open tomorrow. Uh, for, and they're open Monday to Saturday. But I also have an 800 number. When you have the 800 number, um, they'll leave a message. But now, don't miss out on this opportunity. This opportunity is incredible. Uh, the education is incredible. So call right now to get to your either Trevor on demand for the $2.99. You don't have to click on the website. You can buy it or the software. This is the time you want to get the software. Now, this is uh, we're going to stay open until about 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So that is Eastern Time. That's 11 o'clock. 
uh, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Where's that? At? What time is it in Saskatchewan, eh? Yeah, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> Saskatoon, eh? eh? So if you didn't see, let's take away the slide here. We'll put that up later here. So if you didn't see our crazy parody, I was for a short while, I turned into a Canadian. And I had fun doing that. My my kids and my wife just, they rolled their eyes over. It's like, George, what are you doing? We were we were fun. We did a little swap thing. Yes. I was wearing funny. my beach shirt and George had a parka on. I did. I didn't bring my, so my uh, toque. I know. So that's why I made George a toque, you guys. All I right. thought you'd want so, to see George's toque. Um, can you switch back to my camera for a yeah. sec so I can give him a close-up? Nice. Uh, I, I designed a couple things to go at the event. So I made George a cool to toque, and I put his initial on his surfboard. Um, and um, I also designed for you guys a, a really cool uh, postcard. Ah. And so um, I'll be mailing this one to you, George. Nice. I'm going to put your name on it and mail now, it. I got to see this hat. Though. And so let's put our toques on. Okay. So George so is going to wear this, the... this right here. Is definitely has a beach on there. So I live in San Clemente, California, <laughs> and we, you know, this kind of fits the the look that I have here. A shout out to all my San Clementians here. All right. And we got our crazy Canadian. And so let's put the, the slide up real quickly for that phone number again. Uh, so let's do that here. I don't want to block it out there. Because George, I think did I, I see on there that there was a 0% financing available? Because I thought I saw that. They, there is. So so uh, we have 12 months interest free. And you can uh, they can help you out on the phone. And right now they're already getting the phone call. So if it doesn't go through, it will go to voicemail. But please keep calling because these specials are incredible. Um, amazing. I like the toque. It's a beach toque. Yeah. It's perfect for the... Thank you, eh? <laughs> hey, hey. Good job. Hey, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, save your embroidery tour, eh? And, uh, you know, you, you can embroider like a Canadian, eh, if you get Floriani FTCU. Yeah, you're going to love the Floriani <laughs> software, you guys. Um, I promise uh if if you have any questions uh you'll have tons of resources um as well as the ability to email um we have a toll-free phone number at floriani if you need help software owners are really treated to a deluxe experience with floriani That's right. um, we have a you know great um customer support line that is literally um never more than an hour or two away from answering questions so um i think that you're going to be thrilled with your new software you guys right. yeah well, I wish you all the best. Thanks for get, having me, George. Get, you know what? What's the, the number one thing a person who owns an embroidery machine should buy? Uh, embroidery software? FTCU. <laughs> FTCU. I mean, yeah. that, the, the, right? the answer is simple. FTC. I have an embroidery machine. I want to embroidery. I want perfect embroidery. FTCU. Yeah. You know what FTCU stands for, right, George? Floriani Total Control Unlimited. Right. Only sometimes I like to say it's Floriani with Trevor Conquer Good is unbelievable. <laughs> and with that being <laughs> said, uh, I think that that, that says it's it all. It's FTC Floriani Total Control un Ultimate or Universal, actually. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone. Fun times in California. Yeah, God bless everyone. Take care. Bye, guys. How'd we do? <laughs>